Hi everyone, this is Morteza. I'm here with an educational video on Kadabra. So in this session, I'm going to start talking about labels. How do we assign labels to our expression and equations? As you see on the screen, everything here has been written and I already ran the code, so there is no problem. I'm just going to explain some of the points about the labelings. How do we use the labeling? And uh, how can we uh, access our equation in, in case we have multiple equations? And, uh, well, uh, let's get into it. So first thing that you might notice is that uh, we use this colon equal sign to assign a label to an equation. So for example, it's just a to the power of 2b plus b to the power of 2c to the power of 2 equal to 2ab. And I just uh, use uh, eq1 as a, just a simple name. We can just use uh, any name for our labeling. And uh, I say that this equation is going to have this label. And then I define another statement or equation. Uh, it is not an equation anyway um, that says uh, minus 2 plus b plus, uh, plus c and then uh, I assign the label stm1 uh, to this uh, statement it's a mathematical statement I give a label and then I'm gonna use the try to use them and uh, try to manipulate uh, more mathematical stuff uh, later on so you see that uh, when uh, it's 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 gonna just gonna print them and uh, here, uh, in, in the second part, I've tried to use the statement 1 and equation 1, which I defined here, to, uh, uh, to, to manipulate them or do uh, much more uh, mathematical stuff with them. So, for example, here I say that equation 2 uh, is going to be a equal to 2 times statement 1 uh, divided by 3. So... The way that I uh, use the equation or statement inside another label is with at sign and parentheses. So, for example, in I, when I say um, at sign parentheses and inside the parentheses I say STM1, uh, Kadabra is going to look for STM1 uh, as, as in the labels and it's going to find the uh, statement that has been defined earlier and it's going to use it and replace it uh, in the equation here uh, with the calculations of uh, the, the multiplication of 2 and the division uh, by 3. So this is another example. Here I use the equation 2, the equation that I uh, just, uh, just defined. And you see that everything is fine and uh, it understands and it prints uh, how the equation is going to look like. Now, if I want to do more complicated stuff with our equation, like uh, calculate the exponential of right hand side and the left hand side, or the power of 2 or 3, or I want to do more uh, addition or any other thing, uh, I might need to calculate uh, each side separately because uh, until now at least a Kadabra is not able to do it and uh, we can't do uh, like exponential of equation uh, e eq3 and then expect that this is gonna recognize that uh, it has to do the exponential of the right hand side and the left hand side so what I've done here is that I've used left hand side LHS it's a command that has been uh, built inside Kadabra language and you can just reuse it and I have uh, I have used RHS uh, that uh, these uh, these commands are gonna give me left hand side and right hand side and uh, I store them in uh, STM2 and STM3 Something that you can notice here is that I don't use colon equal. Uh, that's because uh, left hand side and right hand side already will return a Python uh, object. So I don't need to define this uh, thing as an uh, expression, LaTeX expression that needs to be uh, 
uh, turned into turned into a uh, Python object. So you see the difference here uh, that uh, if if we want to define an an equation uh, that is uh, written in LaTeX uh, that is uh, written in LaTeX form, we use colon equal. But if we want to assign a label to a uh, statement or equation that comes out of a command in uh, Kadabra, uh, th these, these commands are going to return to us uh, a Python object. So we can't uh, use a colon equal, we just use the uh, equal sign to assign the label to them. And then you see that uh, when I run this thing, uh, this is going to uh, be exactly what I want. So the exponential of both sides has been calculated. Next thing that I want to show you is that uh, when we use some commands like substitute, uh, they already update the first and original equation. And uh, for example, here I have the equation 1, which was uh, a to the power of 2, b to the power of 2, c to the power of 2 equal to 2ab. And then in equation 2, I say that a is equal to 2 times uh, uh, this thing divided by 3. So I want to replace uh, this equation 2 inside the equation 1 and update the value of a. Uh, this way, uh, for this, for this, I use substitute, and when I use this, it's gonna automatically update equation one eq one, and when I print it, uh, you can see already it's been uh, updated with the new values, and I don't have to assign a new label uh, for this substitute uh, because already eq one has been updated, and there is no need for a new label. Uh, for this equation. But there are some commands uh, that we might use from SymPy or uh, uh, Catabra that they return a new Python object as, as their result. For example, here I have defined ordinary differential equation second derivative of f with respect to x plus first derivative of f with respect to x equal to sine of x and then I just assign um, e x as its label and then uh, I say that uh, the, the, I, I call this uh, solver dissolve that is uh, inside solvers uh, and uh, I give this equation to this dissolve and I say that uh, uh, solve this differential equation for me and return uh, the solution. And uh, you can see that uh, it writes also the uh, both uh, the original equation and the solution for me. So if I want to uh, print out both of them separately, so the original equation EX uh, is just the differential equation. It, it is not been updated like uh, uh, something that happens in substitute, it doesn't happen uh, to dissolve. So uh, when I assign this, whatever that is coming out of design, uh, dissolve to uh, sol, uh, then this sol is going to contain the solution of this uh, differential equation and I can just print it, uh, 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 just writing its name and putting a semicolon at the end. And you can see that this is uh, uh, this soul contains uh, our solution to the equation. One more point about this uh, labeling in Kadabra is that if we have multiple equations, for example, I have I have defined a metric here S S uh, that uh, contains multiple equations, and I want to access uh, the first one or a second one. Uh, of these equations and do whatever uh, mathematical calculation that is I want to do with them. So what I do um, is just say that SS and uh, brackets and uh, zero. This is just exactly how do how we do indexing in Python. So it's just uh, you can access to any one of these equations with their respective index 
and their indexing is exactly similar to what happens in Python, which uh, which is that uh, that it starts with zero, and uh, it continues uh, with the higher integers. And again, I remind you that uh, when I am using Kadabra commands like right hand side, left hand side, desolve or substitute or any other, they're going to return to me Python objects. So uh, I don't have to and I don't uh, need to and it's, uh, um, I can't use uh, colon equal sign and I have to just use the equal sign to to assign a label to the solution or the result that has been returned to me but if I am trying to uh, define a new uh, equation using LaTeX format then I have to use the colon equal sign to assign this label to uh, to the to the equations that I'm uh, defining that's it for this session uh, I hope to see you again and uh, I hope that these information are going to be useful for you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. You can also subscribe to follow more of our future videos. See you next time.